We hope and we trust that none of you who may hear this message will think that these intrusions into human life are beneficial. Those who are being affected will be influenced to think that these encounters are beneficial, both for themselves and for the world. People's spiritual aspirations, their desire for peace and harmony, family and inclusion will all be addressed by the visitors. These things that represent something so special about the human family are, without wisdom and preparation, a sign of your great vulnerability. Only those individuals who are strong with knowledge and wisdom could see the deception behind these persuasions. Only they are in a position to see the deception that is being perpetrated upon the human family. Only they can protect their minds against the influence that is being cast in the mental environment in so many places in the world today. Only they will see and know. Our words will not be enough. Men and women must learn to see and to know. We can only encourage this. Our coming here to your world has occurred in accordance with the presentation of the teaching in greater community spirituality, for the preparation is here now, and that is why we can be a source of encouragement. If the preparation were not here, we would know that our admonitions and our encouragement would not be adequate and would not be successful. The Creator and the Unseen Ones want to prepare humanity for the greater community. In fact, this is the most important need of humanity at this time. Therefore, we encourage you not to believe that the taking of human beings and their children and their families has any benefit for humanity at all. We must emphasize this. Your freedom is precious. Your individual freedom and your freedom as a race are precious. It has taken us so long to regain our freedom. We do not want to see you lose yours. The interbreeding program that is occurring in the world will continue. The only way that it can be stopped is by people gaining this greater awareness and sense of inner authority. Only this will bring these intrusions to an end. Only this will uncover the deception behind them. It is hard for us to imagine how awful this must be for your people, for those men and women, for those little ones who are undergoing this treatment, this re-education, this pacification. To our values, this seems abhorrent, and yet we know that these things occur in the greater community and have occurred since before memory. Perhaps our words will generate more and more questions. This is healthy, and this is natural, but we cannot answer all of your questions. You must find the means to gain the answers for yourselves. But you cannot do this without a preparation, and you cannot do this without an orientation. At this time, humanity as a whole, we understand, cannot differentiate between a greater community demonstration and a spiritual manifestation. This is truly a difficult situation, because your visitors can project images, they can speak to people through the mental environment, and their voices can be received and expressed through people, they can cast this kind of influence, because humanity does not yet have this kind of skill or discernment. Humanity is not united. It is broken apart. It is in contention with itself. This makes you extremely vulnerable to outside interference and manipulation. It is understood by your visitors, that your spiritual desires and inclinations make you particularly vulnerable, and particularly good subjects for their use. How difficult it is to gain true objectivity regarding these things. Even where we have come from, it has been a great challenge. But for those who wish to remain free, and to exercise self-determination in the greater community, they must develop these skills, and they must preserve their own resources, in order to avoid being required to seek them from others. If your world loses its self-sufficiency, it will lose much of its freedom. If you must go beyond your world, to seek the resources you need to live, then you will lose much of your power to others. Because the resources of your world are rapidly diminishing, this is a grave concern for those of us who watch from afar. It is also of concern to your visitors, for they want to prevent the destruction of your environment, not for you but for them. The interbreeding program has only one purpose, and that is to enable the visitors to establish a presence and a commanding influence within the world. Do not think that the visitors are lacking something, that they need from you other than your resources. Do not think that they need your humanity. They only want your humanity to assure themselves of their position in the world. Do not be flattered. Do not indulge yourself in such thoughts. They are unwarranted. If you can learn to see the situation clearly as it really is, you will see and you will know these things for yourself. You will understand why we are here 
and why humanity needs a lies in a greater community of intelligent life. And you will see the importance of learning greater knowledge and wisdom, and of learning greater community spirituality. Because you are emerging into an environment, where these things become vital for success, for freedom, for happiness and for strength, you will need greater knowledge and wisdom, in order to establish yourselves as an independent race in the greater community. However, your independence is being lost with each passing day. And you may not see the loss of your freedom, though perhaps you may feel it in some way. How could you see it? You cannot go outside your world and witness the events that surround it. You do not have access to the political and commercial involvements of the alien forces operating in the world today to understand their complexity, their ethics or their values. Never think that any race in the universe that travels for commerce is spiritually advanced. Those who seek commerce seek advantage. Those who travel from world to world, those who are resource explorers, those who seek to plant their own flags are not what you would consider to be spiritually advanced. We do not consider them to be spiritually advanced. There is worldly power, and there is spiritual power. You can understand the difference between these things, and now it is necessary to see this difference within a larger environment. We come, then, with a sense of commitment and strong encouragement for you to maintain your freedom, to become strong and discerning, and not to give in to persuasions or promises of peace, power, and inclusion from those you do not know. And do not let yourself be comforted into thinking, that all will turn out well for humanity, or even for you personally, for this is not wisdom. For the wise in any place, must learn to see the reality of life around them, and learn to negotiate this life in a beneficial way. Therefore, receive our encouragement. We shall speak again concerning these matters and illustrate the importance of gaining discernment and discretion and we shall speak more about the involvement of your visitors in the world in areas that are very important for you to understand. We hope that you can receive our words. Third Briefing A Great Warning We have been anxious to speak more with you regarding the affairs of your world and to help you come to see, if possible, what we are seeing from our vantage point. We realize this is difficult to receive and will cause considerable anxiety and concern. But you must be informed. The situation is very grave from our perspective, and we think it would be a tremendous misfortune, if people were not informed correctly. There is so much deception in the world, that you live in, and in many other worlds as well, that the truth, though apparent and obvious, goes unrecognized, and its signs and messages go undetected. We, therefore, hope that our presence can help clarify the picture, and help you and others, to see what is truly there. We do not have these compromises in our perception, for we were sent to witness the very things that we are describing. Over time, perhaps you would be able to know these things on your own, but you do not have this kind of time. The time now is short. Humanity's preparation for the appearance of forces from the greater community is far behind schedule. Many important people have not responded, and the intrusion into the world has accelerated at a far greater pace than was originally thought to be possible. We come with little time to spare, and yet we come with encouragement for you to share this information. As we have indicated in our previous messages, the world is being infiltrated, and the mental environment is being conditioned and prepared. The intention is not to eradicate human beings, but to employ them, to have them become workers for a greater collective. The institutions of the world and most certainly the natural environment are valued and it is the preference of the visitors that these be preserved for their use. 